Hey, I am the Bunny Kiwi and welcome to an update on Hello Neighbor. Now, Hello Neighbor is one of the most anticipated games of the year so far. Everyone's going crazy for it and it's quite surprisingly as well to some people because at first glance, it doesn't look like there's that much to do. You go across to your neighbor's house, you try and break in and you try and get into his basement and he tries to and he catches you something. It, just, it doesn't look like there's that much. To a lot of people, I'm not to me, it looked the first time I seen it. I fell in love with it right away. This is one of my, I'm so excited to see what this game is going to become. So this video is all about the updates and what's going to happen. There is going to be, right away I'm just going to say there's going to be two more versions of this game before the end of the year. The developers have confirmed that. Two more versions this year. This, I mean there are only like seven or eight weeks left this year, but two more versions. If you're hyped for this video, please do smash that big thumbs up before we get started. That would be a great help to me. I'm now going to switch down to the small face cam. Hiya. And my reason for that is because I want to play some footage in the background of what the next build is going to look like. Or, you know, very similar to it. So this is the build from TwitchCon this year, TwitchCon 2016. And they have confirmed that the new build coming in November, which is uh, being labelled Alpha 2 because the last build was Alpha 1, is going to be a lot like this build. You know, you're going to be able to see your hands now, the camera angles, the artwork is almost, or is finalised in this build. Everything is getting... It's, it's getting polished bit by bit and it's becoming a full game and if you look at if you have a look here Everything you can see here it just has been polished and polished each each iteration has gotten better Everything looks just so much nicer and this is just the beginning This is still just the very beginning now They've said everything everything that you have done in the alpha one and in the pre-alpha is being scrapped It was all just proof of concept and nothing that they are nothing that you've seen before will be in the final game I mean they'll have bits like it, like the tutorial bit at the start is there, <laughs> you need to get the key off the bird in this very by the way. But they said that um, everything you've seen before was just a proof of concept or just to test the mechanics, so everything is being scrapped and nothing's going to make it into the final game. However, this version here is going to be, the mechanics are going to be very similar to the final game. The house, however, in this Alpha 2 is not the final house. The, the, the version that is coming in December, so there's a, remember, two builds coming in the next seven or eight weeks. The next build coming in December is going to be the final house. And they have said the final house is going to be huge. Like, really, really big. The November update, the first one coming in Alpha 2, is going to be just a simple two floor, kind of like the Alpha 1 layout, just a kind of simple house, um, and make the puzzles a bit easier to solve. Just, they really want to find out, because they're taking everything on board. They really want to find out what people are making of this game, what people, how people are playing it, how they're perceiving it. They're taking this on board, they're, they're changing it. They said before that they were, they were a bit unsure if the puzzles were going to be a bit too hard, for people to solve and it, you know everyone solved them right out like almost instantly <laughs> because people just love playing it and they just love exploring it and finding out what you can do and there were so many glitches the trash can glitch and stuff which you can see in my video coming later tonight by the way is you know you can blow yourself out of the map and explore some of the hidden features what the developers have been working on there's so much to do in this game and expl the exploration part of the game is just what everyone is, seems to be falling in love with so you can see here when he catches you now, it just throws you out <laughs> and you land on your backside and you start again. Which I think, obviously I don't think it's going to make it in the final game, that's going to happen. But I think they've done that so that you can just keep jumping straight back into it. Uh, and, and hopefully that will eliminate the room for error. Because before, remember, when you go to the house, there were so much glitches and bugs going on. But they said, this, this build is ready, by the way. They just want to get as much bug out of the way as possible because... People have been finding so much bugs and glitches, and I get again, guys. It is such an early build. This is it's expected. If you played this game expecting zero bugs, then you played it wrong. It's an early build. It's supposed to be buggy. It's supposed to be glitchy. So cut them some slack on that. You can see there here that the artwork for the house looks so much nicer. I mean, it's it's look, starting to look like such a finalised, polished game. It's looking beautiful, and we're still very early on. And they just keep coming up with new ways to make this game more interesting. They just they just keep. They, they keep surprising me every time. So the basement, the basement is going to be playable in this month's update, the November update. You can go in the basement and you can explore. To what extent, we don't know, but I'm going to show you a clip in a little second of what the basement will look like potentially in this November update. It looks like kind of candles, oh he's taking a little whiz there. It looks like kind of candles and it's leading down into some mysterious place that it does, can, it can be explored. And they said in the final game, the house is not not everything is going to be set in house because a lot of people have been saying well how can this be a full game you're just in one house it doesn't look i like that effect by the way with the new like anxiety and just screen darkening it's really cool and this like i'm just i'm so obsessed with this game it's beautiful um so yeah the finalized game 
most of it will take place in the house. They've said that, they've came out right and said that most of it will take place in the house, but not all of it. For one, the basement will be a full other playable part of the game, part of the story. It will have a full integrated story in it at the end, and they have said there will be other locations, but of course they've said at this point they do not want to spoil anything. I'm guessing it will probably be like kind of dream and nightmare, nightmare sequences, kind of like what's in the Alpha 1 current build, where you have those little night... Oh, you have to steal the key out off of this. Look, you have to steal the key. <laughs> That's going to be so hard. Um, <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be like sequences like the Dream and the Nightmare sequence and maybe other parts of the story. Because, I mean, no one knows. Everyone has theories about what this game is actually about or what it means. There obviously is some kind of hidden message, but no one actually knows what it is yet or where the game's going to go. That's a new feature as well, you can look through the keyholes. That's awesome because it was so hard to determine where it was inside the house before. And they said that they're going to take on so much stuff from previous builds, like the they said everyone seems to love the climbing aspect, so they're going to take that on board. They have been watching all the, the gameplay videos, not everyone's, I doubt they found mine, but <laughs> they've been watching a lot of the YouTube videos that have been going around. They have said also that the puzzles will all have multiple ways to solve, because we said before that they thought some of them would be too hard, and they're working on making them even harder, but there will be multiple ways to solve each puzzle, kind of like human fall flat in that way where you don't actually know how to solve it, but if you just kind of mess around, you can solve it anyway, just using common sense. Now, there, there appears to be some sort of magnet in this new build. It's like a big magnet that can attract stuff. Uh, there is a, there is a one, of the, one of the puzzles you have to solve is use the magnet to distract them somehow. Or to get something out of the house. I've seen I've seen that happen at the Twitch one. I think I sit here, yeah, to grab the to grab something out of the house. Yeah, the lockpick. Use the big magnet. That's really strange. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. Um it just fell right through the grass. It's still gonna be a buggy. Well this this is TwitchCon, this is actually from a few months ago that maybe solved they said they're they're spending most of their time right now ironing out all the bugs so that this next version will be a lot less buggy. But yeah, I wanna show you before we finish this video, I wanna show you the basement clips, just what they what they showed at the basement so far. To, so you can you can know what you're going to expect to see if the internet ever decides that it's going to load at some point today. There we go. Right inside the basement, you can see like he's opened the basement door. He's going down. There's a shadow at the bottom. There's all these kind of candles. It's very very spooky. It's looking really really strange. There's a crib there, and that's just where it ends because obviously they don't want to spoil anymore. Um, I don't know if that's where this actual build will end, but that's where that ends, just the TwitchCon demo. Now looking into the future, the developers have actually said that they're aiming for one build every single month for everyone who has purchased the, the game in Alpha State. And you can purchase the Alpha 1 version right now, it's $29.99 on the Hello Neighbor website. You can find the link in the description right now. If you go and purchase that, you will get the Alpha 1 build via Steam Key, and then you will get every future update that is coming. Remember, that's one build per month that they're aiming for, so that is an insane amount. That's insane value. Obviously, you'll get the final version of the game as well for that $30, so that's just insane, insane value. But anyway, that does it for this roundup of news and rumors and spoilers of Hello Neighbor. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a big massive thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, please leave a comment below. That would be awesome if you did. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. But for now, QE out.